make it a convertible. Convertible time. I'm using my phone. How do I get that to slide up? I don't use this for the recording. I assume we need a light? Maybe it's in the box. Yeah, it's just like these. It's supposed to. Maybe it's from the top down? No, it's not top down. No, it's this no. way. Yeah, it should just. Oh, well, I don't know. that much anyway, I guess. It says no right now. <laughs> Where'd you get this phone from? Yeah, Danny Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> got it on the internet. It's gotta be good. I can delete it. I can pull it out of my apps now. What the hell? Oh, oh, there it is. I had to remember it's 10. Uh, so the seam, I'm in the right area. I just hope maybe it pop it loose, but that may not be a plausible ability. I don't want to take all the lead out. I'm doing the Andrew hallway. I can see where I need to be. Access to where they're tied to the inner structure now. Oh, 
asking if they've ever used a crowbar before. This is this is creative. Kind of like it though. Be meaning from breaking and entering. There's not a lot of rust in here, which is the weird part. I mean, it's rusty, but not. Yeah. Well, that was at the end. Oh no, up here. Well, you have like a, a strike through. A strike. Well, something like a, like a screwdriver hit the end of it. Um, with a hammer. Before we turn the compressor on, make that thing go and piss on the neighbors. Let's see how well the panels pop apart. If you're gonna dance some work, then I think you're all right. I'll like this. I need a, a small flesh. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, mm. uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I feel a little. It's wet. She's not going to give up the ghost. We might, though, drill it out from the inside. Careful, that'll fall down. I was like, yeah, that might. <laughs> but right through here is the seam that I'm fighting. Gotcha. You unscrew this panel. That's for your sail panel and your trim. Okay. You might well get the, the spot wells. Which pop. I don't have. You don't have the sail panels? Not the inside. Hmm. Yeah, they come out of kit. They're not that expensive. But I need to undo that. That's for the, the that piece of wood. No, it's a little Phillips screwdriver. I think it's weird that it's, I don't know, being in wood. No, it's tack strip. Again, that might be 67. Go for it. Grab what we need. I may need to go to 67. That or someone lost the tack strip, and this is what they came up with. Loose, I don't gotta mess with the lead. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. I, don't, I just don't want to mess with the lead. That was a picture he had, so I think that was his inspiration. Yeah, there we go. What are you talking about? 400 grill? Okay. Regular grills stop here, they don't go forward towards the, the front. Gosh. 400 badge Pump here. here. Yeah, yeah, they got the, the arrowhead, you have a 400 badge on the trunk back, but those are your. 400 clue, 400 clue, 400 clue, and then of course the obvious one. Yep. The Ram Air style hood. So, huh. That's why I'm wondering, but so they got hit in the front, they go. And it's cheaper to buy a, a non 400 bumper, right? Cheaper. Cheaper would be. Hey, most people don't see that. And I had a friend of mine, Cobra, about 99 Cobra. Uh huh. And a plastic bumper car said Mustang, you know, stamped in the back bumper. Yeah. That was all the Mustangs. Mustang, Mustang GT, but the Cobra had a special bumper, Cobra. Got hit in the back. Pick up the body shop. Walk outside and said, hmm, wrong bumper. It's a Mustang. No, no, that's a Cobra. So they had to order a new bumper cover and put it back on the business. And paint it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Okay, I need to get my butt in here. Get my butt in here. So if we can find a way to drill these out, that'll make a lot of short work to get to getting the lead out. So in that thing, I can I 
can see where it tied the two to the roof and the sail panel. And then there's a sail panel as well behind this one, which there's another panel here. Uh, but here's one of the welds that's holding it. That's one. And the other ones are... Maybe they stamped them all at the same time. Well, they'd find out. You got a, uh, about a... I know I saw a drill. Drill bits. Okay. Let's go with... Yeah, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, so we'll, we'll, we'll discover the technique on this side and then yep. nail it on that side. Okay. So you drill it. Yeah, drill it. about a quarter inch or something around there. I'm just going to rip right through all the panels. And I can come all the way up the top side. It doesn't matter. Somebody's going to think that's kind of cool. drill bit the dust when I was uh wire brushing yes <laughs> yeah it's brutal um, I've had the wall I've had for years and it just won't die the walls yeah I have a sawzall that was a crashing no I need black and decker then I have a uh, what does I have a craftsman grinder like this little grinder here yep that beat the crap out of it for years and it just won't we'll die. die I've had smoke them out a few times and it just keeps on going uh oh Read the manual. Yeah. What? Men don't read instructions. Real men. See where you're your girl watching with you? Yeah. Learning anything? What? She's an excellent human watcher. Ah. Oh. Yeah, she, she's a babysitter. Wait, he's got a new best friend. Yeah. Split her up. Let's just see how this goes. Hoping, hoping good. Basement sale panel. There. Put them over there. I'm glad I throw those things away. It's one of those things you just never know when you need them. Um, there's another one somewhere. There's one. Right okay. I literally just drilled through at this in the car right here, which is spot on where I need to be. The roof is welded to the sail panel here. That's where all the lead's at. Right. It kind of goes on. I'm trying to cheat and just go drill, 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 drill. 
take off. Yeah. Leave okay. the lead in the car because well, lead's bad. One. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to mess with it. So if you look in here, that's what you're. Yeah, I'm. I literally just drove right through here. Okay. This looked fine. I looked at it. I was like, no, that's not right. But what I'm looking at is this edge here. I just zoom out because this is bent more of a almost a 90 degree. It's almost here, but it's yeah. So when I put it on, I think it'll okay. pull down. So. I'm on the right path. It's gonna work. Get a star by my name. And my wrist is about 90% back to good, so we're doing better. I was a little worried this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no. I was like, oh boy, we're in trouble. Should be a seven eighths, like bigger hole, but you get them centered just right. The hole should be seven eighths. Gotcha. Yeah, but guess what? Before we got, I'm gonna save a trip to the beginning place. Once I figure this out, this is the thing I've been this thinking of. biggest. Playing out of my head is how can I do it without taking the lead out? Is there a way to do it? Everyone always you know, right, it's great, it's great. Okay, then you're a little popping out. Like, is there a quicker way? So once I've learned the way, then that's easy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I did so. so like, I gotta, I gotta find a way to do it. So that's what we're doing. We're we're doing some exploratory surgery. <laughs> Yeah, that was 
the junk that was in here. That was I was trying to distinguish what spot what elephants what for us. You said you got a bottle for it and all that good jazz. And yeah, now the welder, I never used it before. Mm -hmm. I just had a chance to test it because of the wrist. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we'll have to look. seems here. Sail panel goes in. Roof panel comes over top and welds here. Yep. Am I not seeing this right? Oh. I just don't I don't want to try to pick the lead out. I mean, once you get the lead out, you still have to drill these out. You know what? Yeah, so I'm not like doing work that I don't need to do. Impossible, that just means. Oh, okay. It's right here to this brace. That's it. Here. And this what means? Don't forget you have that whole thing. 
You get the warmth without the direct sun. Yeah, I think it's this is how you know the warmth inside the house. Yep. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're inside the house. Oh, okay. I get comfortable. See what just happened right there? Yeah. That's there was only one in the front corner that tied it to the other piece. So I got two back here that I'm buying. So the answer is, yeah. I can get this out of taking all that out. Now I get this part all flex it. number one. Oh, that just made my day. That probably saved us 45 minutes each side getting out of that car. <laughs> so it was a little bit of exploratory surgery. Hope we got it. Yeah, and this is actually clean. Look at this metal. It's not even rusted here. That, that blows my mind. But it's not. It's just, that's clean steel. Yeah. Clean. And the water was running in here from this. I don't know. Maybe that top, just because of the vinyl, that, that backing? It just must absorb and stay like a sponge. It yeah. Out of the roof. Yeah. That's what I'm cool. Thinking. All right. Well, I answered that question. Um, I'm done now, Mort. <laughs> and now we get, that was the thing I didn't have the answer for. Now we get serious about doing some filming. And I assume the clips are all vitals of the kit. Yeah. Oh, did fine. you buy? I, when we first talked about the roof, the little screw in little studs, did you get those? No. Okay. Not that big a deal. A little 16th of an inch starter hole. Bloop. Bloop. And about every three inches apart, you put a hole, screw okay. those things in there. Um, oh, you put your trim. It's screwed. Hmm? Riveted or screwed? It's actually a screw. Oh, it is. It's actually, it has a little cross tip at the end of it. it when it once installed, it looks identical to the aesthetics, so it's a little cross tip in the middle of it. Huh. You throw a little pilot hole and screw it right in. I'll be damned. The original ones are well. Right. A little gun. Yeah, no. Yeah, but that, we don't have that. So, I have now found a way to get the lead out. That just. I'm not kind of liking that. A lot, actually. And I have to use the air hammer either. Yeah. Make all that noise. So, okay. Um, I need to put that dirty already. Put this back in here. I'm also missing, the, I guess, the, there's a plastic piece with that seats. Uh, for the bats and seats. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a plastic two, two screws, two and a little hand for the release. So all that stuff's available. It's not horribly expensive. It does nickel and dime over time, but kind of Yeah, it'll nickel and dime a little bit. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm well, gonna pretend we ain't got nothing to it. Okay. Now that I'm educated, I'm feeling really confident. And I'm a more cocky than normal. A more cocky than normal. Yeah. I get, a, I get a big head sometimes. I wouldn't even place it even longer. I don't believe that. Ah, yeah. That's heavy. <laughs> All the lead is Yeah, that's what I thought when you gave it to me. I was like, damn, that is heavy. That's heavy. That's getting the lead out, dude. This is our live stream. Oh no. We're on there right now? Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh now I'm in trouble. Oh, and you, you don't watch it live now. It goes from the beginning. That's weird. Oh. I thought you could watch it from the beginning. Oh, you can't, right there. Dun, dun, dun. It's about five seconds. Uh, oh. Close. Said five seconds of TV. Yeah. See, man, I can't say bad jokes. The audio's on, yeah. Off color. <laughs> can't say that. And this side is the correct thing. It actually has the tax strip in it still. So. You might have to employ Whitney to be our commentary. <laughs> She'll come in and say, you guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if we want to film this, yeah, I was getting this tax strip out of it. This side actually still has the tax strip on it. 
does it or not? Yeah, it does. So you're saying the other one was wood? Just a piece of wood. This is what it normally looks like. Channel with texture. You make sure staple that sail panel to it, or the headliner to it, then you put your sail panel over top of it. Because the fabric headliner comes down, you go, do, 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 the staple. That's how you pull it tight. This is correct. Yeah, this side is just a piece of wood. Weird. So yeah. somebody was in there. Well, somebody, somebody said we moved the car's been apart. Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> Oklahoma. What's the. Oh, speaking of that, what's the safe word, right? That's what Whitney was saying. What's the safe word? No. See? Safe word. Guess it gets out of hand. Arizona. Oh, Arizona. What, what's it? We should make up a safe word. Safe word. You know, kind of things get out of hand, you know, you gotta have a safe word. So. Right. right. Yeah. Guacamole. Guacamole, yep. Sometimes you get out of hand. You're going too far. Guacamole. <laughs> All right, trash, right? No, no, you want to keep that still. You can actually reuse it. I just want to get away so I get to the spot level. Okay, so. let's go to the Firebird box. Bird box. Uh, do you want to figure out what label you say? Hey, John, what's this? I'll go, hey. No, I, I'll remember that. That's texture. Oh. So, we're going to get your tripod. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in close and we'll do this little video right quick. Yeah, we found a way to get the light out quick. Now, I've got an idea here. We're going to try it out in this car. The lead here. We're going to obviously replace the roof panel and the sail panel, but we okay. need to get the lead out, so to speak. So there's actually spot welds underneath to tie the panels to the other structure, but I really don't feel like getting the torch out, heating this thing up, and getting it out. So I think we've found or we've discovered a way that we can get this thing out a whole lot quicker without messing with the lead, because I'll tell you, that stuff's just not fun to mess with. So what we're going to have to do is get on the inside here. And through this area here, there's actually all the spot welds that tie it to the inner structure. You drill those out just right and do a couple cuts, and pop all the lead out real quick on this, save a lot of time, and of course reduce chance of fire is always a positive. Alright. Now tripod time, huh? So now I gotta duplicate my technique. About 90%. Let's say I need to get a whole bunch of bongo on a car and change the pitch. You need tap on it. Uh -huh. A nice ring. Oh, there's any in this car. Ruler instead of a paint or a paint uh, tax strip. Now, the area in question is kind of hard to see because you do that with a surface rust, but there's spot wells. I promise you. Oh, let's say it's harder to see. But one here, one about there, there, there. Looks like one here. And we'll go back here a couple. So that's what you got to pop loose or drill those out. And then we'll actually cut the outer panel above and below the lead. You can peel the whole panel out of the way without disturbing any of that lead. We don't like it. Oh, hey, look at that. I can get my finger on this right. And I can highlight that. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't see them on this side as well. They did the other side. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah. Unless you get older. By the minute. Older by the minute. I can't stop it. <laughs> yeah. Try and try and try. As much as I don't want to grow older, it just keeps happening.
Never. Uh, Never. High iron diet. fun I never had. the next question obviously now we're going to go above the lead just a little bit oh come across no oh, marker doesn't work brian where'd you get this marker at wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> right. we're basically going to cut on both sides of the lid here and actually going to cut you can actually come back this way just a little bit i am definitely large does that one work have you tried it i don't know uh, Hey, one more step. Yep, okay. Now let's try that again. Where to cut it at? You can see my previous lines that weren't very good because Brian marker. So that's okay, we got a replacement. We got a stunt marker here. I'm gonna cut the inside here on the edge here. Zip it around here. And so you can cut this back from the drip rail just a little bit because it's not actually tied there. So basically we'll cut this section out here, here. Try this back a little bit, you should be able to get those spot welds in with a chisel and pop it loose. Let's see if I can make sparkle haters.
bash my paint. Yep, sorry. Now you work hard for that patina. I'm gonna come through and go. I get right to all those little spots. I need a new, uh, new scalpel, doctor. Yes. That one's more, uh, Is this the good one or the bad one? Uh, I think that's the good one. Let's see. That's the good one. Yep. This one doesn't make a very happy smiley face. It's not happy. It's not happy. It's what you're trying to tell me. Not happy. Right. New blade. Do so, and then I'll do that cut and I can pop those out. And then... Heck. I think it'll buff out, though. two cuts. Now you can see the area that we drilled. You look carefully. Here's the inner structure. This is the sail panel. These the two are going to separate, leaving this intact here. So my perspective get back some, but all the ledge right here. So you cut just above the ledge strip, get in here and pop that loose. Those little spot was that I drilled from the inside. And then this whole panel is just kind of flop out of the way. I don't get a mess of that crap. Dude, I'm spoiled. Yeah, everybody's spoiled.
through the years. Yeah, it's a little rusty, but it's not like the 
extreme structural roughs. It's just like okay, so kind of, if you took a wire brush, it would be back to shiny metal. So it's not like severely pitted. So that part's done. I got the lead out. Now the front. Um, I know. Hammer and a doll. Yeah, no. I need the grinder, flappy wheel. We have another grinder we can set up with the uh, flat wheel. Yeah. I get the hammer and dolly. I'll rework that edge now. Checking on her. She still has a pulse. Yeah. Still alive. Yeah. My friend will pop here. Keep the world happy. Are you inside? Yeah, I actually learned how to get the light out a whole lot quicker. Oh. By using a torch. Wow. I think it's made up. Oh. Does it work? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I have a piece of old macaroni, yeah. a tomato, a cup of mayonnaise, yeah. and a lemon. What can I make? <laughs> you can eat what? <laughs> Dress up where I had to hammer the slot wells off, okay. where it's nice and flat. Gotcha. And I got a little twisted here. Use okay. the hammer and dolly to get that back into shape because I've actually I got a little aggressive there. Okay. It just wouldn't give up the fight, so it's un it's undoable. gonna see snowy days and winter days probably ever again in its life, but a little ounce of prevention will hurt now. Work 
is our work bench. Smiling marker. Now, the next part of the sail panel. Obviously, part of this jam is junk. So once we get this torn out, we're going to have to make a panel. But the interesting thing here, it's not much narrower than the factory. The factory is actually not full width of the roof panel anyway. Um, so oh. It's still actually 90% there, but it's a little soft there. So we may have to add a piece once we get this cut out. But I only want to cut, um, I throw it somewhere, the sail panel. Uh, right here. Which? That's the other side. Dang, God, where did I throw it at? I'm like Houdini. Where did it go? I think Whitney stole it. Wait, Nate! What? what? <laughs> Where'd you hide it at? They're both here. They're both here. Uh, there. So that's the that other side. Yeah. Go fit. What, honey? Well, actually, it was right behind me, but to the right. If I got back towards it, if I look at it, it is to my left. So, yep, you're a winner. It's behind you. Yep, it's behind me to the left, so it depends on what perspective. No, I'm not going to cut to this shape because that's kind of silly. Now the vinyl top comes through here. When I cut these out, I try to make sure that I cut past this point. Because we're going to put this filler panel, I'm going to section it actually on this face. So it's very little filler required. I don't want to get into the trunk jam. That's 10 times the labor, not necessary. But what we're going to do though here, I'm going to actually make it a nice radius. And then welding it to that radius just below, hopefully, where our rust line is at. Thinking someone's actually gonna ever use them, I just salvage them, you know. And I gave this part here to Louie. There, oh, that's right, that's right. When you both about the same time needed some panels, like uh, I know where two are at. <laughs> They've been on that shelf for a while. Like I think I got a home. Here's the thing about it: the car I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. I have this piece, and that piece back for it. So I'll have an extra piece again. <laughs> so I replenished my stock. So. I don't know if I ever needed the same thing. I probably never catch him. Just you just never know. So obviously, the rest of the junk is gonna go. I'm gonna make a pretty safe assumption. This is good metal through here. But let's just try that. Looking at the car, judging by the age, judging by the rest of the car, I'm gonna fairly confident say I'm gonna find good metal in here. I don't think I'm gonna find any lead or brazing material or fiberglass. I'm probably gonna blow through the paint and hit metal pretty quick. So you're gonna mess up my paint job. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get my smiley face out. My graffiti is your Damn it, John! <laughs> I'll get the graffiti out. Messing up my paint job. It's a very special paint job. You're right, I should mess it up. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you so
kind of like the layers of a tree. Check this out. Um, there's the red paint. Here's that uh, cream colored primer in the front of the car. Yeah. There's actually some body foam. It appears to be that expensive all metal body foam that went down to steel. So they must have stripped this thing to bare metal back in the day. Could be. That one, this is the only picture I think I have of it. Okay, this is telling, telling me of the story, you know? That's gray primer though. Yeah, that's this thing right here. Okay. There's like a primer, a gray. This is like a high build primer, almost like spray on filler in a sense. Okay. Yeah, see how thick it's on there? Yeah. Then actually, you know, you kind of sculpt the car with that stuff and get rid of any of the blemishes. You put your top coat on, so it's a super probably high solid or high build primer. But I think she stripped this thing to bare metal, but yeah. So far, yeah, no surprises. Just, just cut through the layers here. <laughs> So we can use that footage as I'm like cleaning it up. Yep. Yep. So, perfect. But you can drop these in as like detail. detail. Right, right. Oh god, the pink light. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a live stream too. Yeah. And so this could get us in trouble. I started laughing. So now of course we got the lead out up here. We already established that. And the next plan is here to get in the sail pan replaced is I wanted to find, make sure I had good clean metal. So I buzzed back everything here and I've actually got good solid structural metal that I can tie back to. So I'm basically going to cut along the little line here in preparation to uh, make a patch out of the there. So I have plenty of material. I'll cut this to match and then we'll butt weld this in place and then I've got to pop all the seams through here. And I'm afraid I may have to do a little bit of inner structure work once we get this apart, but we'll see once we get into that. But next thing is here, I'm going to go ahead and cut the car body all right along my little magic line here and see if we find any surprises there. All right, Brian, your trade, you can cut. You said butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, what part do you want to do, Brian? Are you just having fun watching? Are you good? Or you want to get in here? You know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, tell me if I'm being weird, but it's a weird energy. It's a good energy. Okay. It's like, when I'm doing work, and I'm like, if I could just get Jeannie, or if I could just get my son to stand here yeah. and hold the camera. My, my little girl's good. Yolanda, but she loves doing that. And I'm, so I'm, I'm watching you work, and I'm going, I don't, I'm like, I'm going, wait a minute. I need to be on this side to film this, because I want to see this. I want to see this. If I was... That's so why I put her right side. You grab the camera. What would you like to see? She follows me like she wants to see it. And also, I use that footage. Yeah. She does such a great job. I was like, control arm video, stuff like that. She's down there with me. Hey, Dad, this Yeah, this is. I'm like. She's so I'm, she's I'm, good to be out in video. I'm taking that vibe. Okay. So I mean, I eventually think there's gonna be stuff stuff I want to do. Maybe yeah. like when you guys head back to the hotel for the evening, you say I need to have this done or that done yeah. by tomorrow morning. That then I can jump in and do something. Yeah. But, but the energy just for videoing right now, my, I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm feeding off of it. Cool. Well but then, as long as as long as we're still good, I'm shrimp and cocktail sauce. I'm just like, oh, oh I get that. Uh, yeah, she has cool. some good cocktail sauce, but I dare not eat because I didn't want to rock the boat. I said, I'm, my goal is to get on a plane without having a meltdown. That was my that was my goal because well, even just thinking about airplanes, my stomach burns. Man. And I get all clammy. You know, the guys at work. Go, the life. My, the guys at work go, I hope you have diarrhea on the plane. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> because I'm eating them all day long, right? So they're just trying to get me back. I'm like, because that's all some of my horror stories about flying. But that's the thing. I just get all knotted up, but, but it causes more issues, you know? And I just, it's all psychological. Yeah. And it gets out of hand. So the entire time, like, you can't get out of the seat. Like, I have to go. I'll work <laughs> up. So that's what it turns into. 
Oh, he's a joy. He's a joy to us. Yeah, you butt wheels at that point. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, but I have some stories we'll share later on dinner, so. Without, uh, yeah, okay, what's, with the, the trip to New York on the way home after eating the chip, I've never, Woody knows the story, she was there first. Time. I was driving. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. You were in the back point. seat. Yeah. But, yeah, well, oh, it's telling at dinner, yeah, that's a dinner one. Uh, just remind me, say, huh? Give me an orange Mountain Dew. You want an orange? Yeah. Uh, eight dollars, please? Yep. Shh. <laughs> It's nice some of them sent these to you, Brian. They give them to you. Well, Jeannie's like, I checked Amazon and we didn't order any boxes. What is this box here? It's and a bomb. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? What box? Yeah. And so if I'm like, that's probably Mountain Dew. From She's like, why did he have Mountain Dew shipped here? I'm like, you, you can't find understand. it anywhere. It's like liquid gold. It's like go-go juice. So, I'll make some more noise here. Hey, so. Louis, uh, Who? Louis. Louis. Oh, Louis? Tell him to turn on YouTube. And tell him to come on down. What? What? That's not bad at all. Do you have any duct tape? What kind of tape? A little duct tape or some kind of tape. Uh, I have masking tape. I have... Masking tape might work. Duct tape is a little more... Uh... I also have Girl. gapper's tape. There's masking. So I have like six rolls of duct tape on my side. Uh, just something that's just popped in my head just now that I kind of like, I want to see if it'll work. But well, if it's not, it's not the end of the world. I'll just keep plugging along. I don't know Desk why. tape might work. I did have a roll of gapper's tape. Yeah, uh, Here's the crazy thing. I just, I'll lay in bed and these ideas just pop in my head about stuff. Making crazy ideas. And then I bring wow. them to fruition. Yeah. How do I know that my dimensions are staying the same and I don't have all them fancy measuring tools, right? What do you make for? Can you get the garage dirty? Ah, oh, it's unacceptable. You should see my white car. Oh, my trans in your She's a she's buried in dirt right now in the garage. So where do you want that? Yeah, I would have to be. Oh, I don't need to make this. Oh, there's some rust. <laughs> That's just pop right through. Understatement. <laughs> 
That's an understatement. That's not press. That's that's patina. People pay for that. People pay big money for patina. Yeah. Patina was a man. What? No. Funky cold. Uh, Funky cold Medina popped in my head when you said that. Funky cold Medina. Cold oak. Yeah, oldie. Oh boy. Do you know who this person is? This Fretzman 68? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy who uh, did my, my contest. But, uh, oh, okay, yeah. 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 He had a 69 Firebird and uh, put it back together and uh, tell you. And he even met Louie and Carlisle. Oh, really? Yeah, he's on Carlisle poke around. I wish I could have went, but that's a little too far of a drive for me. So. Pennsylvania from Indiana? Well, yeah. it's middle of Pennsylvania. I have, I have family live in Pennsylvania. I go there twice a year to visit. That's Lake Trail, Pittsburgh, and Green, the Greensburg area. It's only about a six and a half hour drive, which I can do that still. I'm not too old for that yet. Stories. I, know, I can't share this story. It's probably not appropriate. So It's a good dinner time story. So what's the concept of this? Oh, the idea... I cut this all out. Where does this go back in this space, right? I know it all goes back in the car, but I want this relatively in the same space. So, if I go to cut it loose, as long as that side stays down, I can just peel my paint back. And I put the new panel in place. <laughs> this is a crazy idea that popped in my head. I can do this, and I put the panel in place. I know then, I pull this top, and I can slide the panel mm -hmm. I gotcha. until my edge lines up with this. So I can do it within a sixteenth of an inch or so. Plenty good because that trim, you know, it has adjustment. So, but I just like to get it really close. And then the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a tape measure. We got, we got one of those measure sticks, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to put it from here to here and I'm going to write down the dimension side to side. And then this dimension, I'm not going to do is I'm going to cut this out. But that's going to the next thing. I'm going to get that dimension. So I'm going to get that dimension and then mark it too. Okay. So, uh, that's going to, what's popping in my head at the moment. <coughs> This is gonna work. Heck, I don't know. We're just playing cards. <laughs> we got a welder. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the welder? I'll burn all day long. What I like to do is don't put this on the inside edge, or put like the one inch mark yep. and right on the one. seam. Yep. And then I know where we're at. And then I can mark where you put the tape measure at. Uh, so put the, on the quarter itself, just go boop. So we know the height wise, because you come down, it gets a little bit wider anyway. So I want to make a line here. Yeah, just some kind of reference where we took our measurement from. Okay, so there's that one. And just put a mark so I know the height of our tape measure when I took the mark. And you keep it snug, you got it? Yep. Looks like 47 and 3 quarter. And I put my tape measure. Oh, come on now. The tape measure was. 47 and 3 quarter. Probably should have wrote it on that side since this side is getting cut out. Is this right? 43? 47 and 3 quarter. 47 yep. and 3 quarters? Yep. And I know from this point then. Okay. And I'll do this. I'm sure I'll catch grief from some folks. Everyone has their opinion, you know, like a. Some people have said fixing that trunk deck, but Link was absolutely ridiculous and ass, and I just fell full of Bondo and chip it. And I said, well, I guess you could, but I thought I could do better. <sighs> you call it that. I just been playing with cars forever. Oh, I wish you would. Oh, I got an idea. Here's my tape slips. Check it out. I got reference marks. You know, I think I do it on the other side as well. Yeah, might as well. Duct tape, I think, would have been a little more durable. It's a little more stickier. Was it on your list? It was in my, <laughs> my dreams. But you know how that goes. I already suffered from insomnia. Enough. Okay, what else should I mark? Um, yeah, mark those, I think. So, I'm going to finish cutting this thing out, and we'll see about that. Did you end up... Uh, P.O.R. 15 or that uh, rest of version? I got a can of P.O.R. 15 and I also have a can of uh, top cook stuff. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is actually going on. All right. So, quick. I'm going to start making some more noise. Your ears ready? I'm ready.
Just about a quarter inch below the trunk jam. Yeah. But I know if your trunk deck's dented up, we're gonna get the trunk deck bent back into place. Yeah. So they're welding it in like my car. I'll go, oh, that's get a height adjusted. Right? Gotcha. So I, I goofed on that one. Normally I know better, but I just, oh, that's a good panel. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it's in the wood. Um, the other thing I want to do, how wide is this sail panel? 48 minutes, there's 48 and 3 eighths. Where's your... Right there. See how close this is or isn't. First 
Well, it's going to be 47 and 3 eighths because we took an inch off. So, yeah, 40, yeah 47 and 3 eighths. Yeah, because we took an inch off. See, I'm right there. Within an eighth of an inch, I can make that work. Within an eighth of an inch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just used the imaginary six see how close it was. Cause we, I guess we've discovered some friends of ours have some panels that are inch and five eighths off. So I just, yes. What are we working with before I get started here? So. Yeah. Yeah. Cindy's watching it too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, cool. Is Cindy one of the girls? No, 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 co-worker wife. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> we go, we hang out. So. Alright, we're back in business. No, oh, actually, that inner structure is not as bad as bottom was. It might be okay. I just want to get the last little bit here cut. So, real. New, new death wheel. Or a wheel of fortune, I like roll a lot. I press my luck, right? Hey, how about them winning water numbers? You ever pick those yet? We should go get those. Yeah, pick them winning water numbers. We made millionaires, we're not even know them. No, I still play cards though. We just want to do the work anymore. Just play. Just play. Oh, yeah. Play. I would love to have like a 100 by a 300 foot shop. Oh, yeah. Air conditioned and. Oh, air conditioned. Oh, I yeah. Are. See? see? Yeah, now, now I'm here. So pick those numbers, dude. I'm in. Let's do it. You're in? Yep. This one I was concerned with here. This is the lip. It's just bare the front edge has anything. I don't think I'd do anything to it. 
So I just finished peeling off the old one and we'll clean it up and treat it. So nice. And look, this is what spot holes normally do on these old cars. That was spot holes. And it just broke. Yeah. Normally that's the majority. These ones I was fighting, but normally they'll pop, 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 they come apart. But these ones? Well, on a German car, they're like this. Okay. They don't pop. They they stick. They stick. Yeah. And I said the majority of ones they were gonna end up very hammer. So sometimes this one, there's no penetration at all. There's no name. The rust is in this color, so that was never really well. Let's go. Must be Friday. <laughs> yep. Side in because it's blistering is there's no pits it's surface rust but it's all polished on the outside so it's definitely we knew that from the top yeah but, mm -hmm. there's the staples they use which ugh a staple of vinyl top was that also the same for the vinyl top right yeah then when they come in they fold over the ledge and they go do you put holes in it of course then promotes water and rust and everything else and that was a factory thing or no oh, yeah, factory. yeah yeah I think it's the only reason the one that I'm doing has 68 has any rust at all is because where these went through, it festered in the channel. That whole roof is almost spotless except for around those staples. Where those holes are at. Yeah, and then broke, broke the through. seal and then, yep. Now, that's weird. That's soft. That's well, that might have lined up right here with this hole here. Oh, uh, gotcha. So when they shoo, get a little paint on it, this is this bare. Most of these cars don't even have galvanizing. They are bare steel on the inside, like this. There's no coating on that. So when you get it apart, yeah, you go shoo, shoo, a little something on it. That'll help slow the rest down. Shit. I'll put this in the bucket. Yeah, that's a... I'll send this back to Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> Have your car back. <laughs> One piece at a time. Oh. I'm allowed to say that. I think you're allowed to say that. Uh, now we got to do... Want to do a detailed shot of the inside of that? Yeah, might as well. You get in there close and personal. Um, what we're going to have to do is we'll finish trimming this off. This is the roof skin where it lays over top. Okay. Got to finish cutting this out. This is where the two panels meet. And then I got to finish getting this piece out. So. That's our no bells. outer inner. This is the support that ties to the outer. Um, they don't look that bad in there. So you don't draw anything in there. What are you trying to tell me? Like a bolt sort of thing. Well. They don't just rattle around for They'll the rattle around. Years. What I was doing, yeah, right, you'll see. Well, <laughs> if you'll watch the video, you're going to find it. <laughs> Damn it, Sean! <laughs> it's exactly what was going to happen. All right, well, anyway. Of course, you have some footage of me cutting that thing out, right? Yes, so, oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Good stuff, too. Good. That, that's all cut out. We've got to come back now and clean up the edge. Just kind of interesting little fun bits here. The uh, spot welds that I was really didn't want to mess with, guess what? They didn't weld it from the factory whatsoever, so that makes my life a whole lot easier. And Sometimes you might find them in here, but then maybe Brian might find one later too. So just you wait and see. You know, I did find a, uh, a bottle. Yeah, in the front. <laughs> yes, sir. I was like, what the? No, that was the thing. You used to find bottles like in the quarter panels down here, right? Yeah. And a little note that says, haha, you found me. I've heard stories like Stories like, oh, it, it does happen. Now, I've never found one, but I've seen it. I've heard of it, but uh, I was never cool enough to find any. But I'm not going to say you may have found an orange Mountain Dew or can hide in this car when you put it back together. What? That would be funny. Yeah, what? You go, John! I'll hear you live from Indiana. <laughs> you mother son of a beep, 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 beep. Let's see. 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 Let's see
Yeah, there's actually the I've cut on both sides of it here. Um, I couldn't get the cutoff wheel to go deep enough. Right. Because that flange is almost that tall. I replaced the one. You know, eh, I guess it made about that tall. I couldn't get to go far and cut through both of them, so I went ahead and just cleaned the outside skin off. And I'll go ahead and drop it through and I'll get that cut out of there. Gotcha. But, uh, um, these spot welds, so, I have one, I think, right here biting me, but I don't think, I, mean, I thought I was going to patch on this. I think we'll just clean it up real good and weld through primer, and it will be okay, so. Oh, oh, this one, 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 hell up. So he painted the inside, he must have stripped this. Right, yeah, he painted this red. Normally, I don't think this would have been red. Now, if you had a red interior car, Maybe? I don't know. I don't think they're paying that. Huh. This car was obviously originally the, the orange color, so this would have been black or maybe the copper color, whatever it was. I don't know the fancy name for it. Autumn, autumn, something. autumn bronze is 68. I'm not sure they still oh. call it 67. They may not have. They may be. I, I, I don't know if paint comes quite or things go. That's cool. Now, would you believe all three of my 1969 fibers? I bought three different times in my life. Now, only one's the original color one I got from New York with that light turquoise blue, crystal turquoise. Yeah. That's the original color of that car. The white one I have. Pull the paint code, crystal turquoise. The one I'm doing at my high school car again, paint code, crystal turquoise. All three of my cars are crystal turquoise cars. I don't know what the odds of that are. They're all 352 barrel. But this one might be something special. Two barrel. 352 barrel cars. Real accurate. Yeah. I have the numbers matching engine in that convertible. That I bought from New York, and then the one that was in the Trans Marotta was the numbers matching engine, but it was bad. <laughs> I mean, not as bad as the chocolate syrup would come out of that thing. Yeah. But that engine sounds good. But the one I had, it was the bearings were junk in, piles of sludge. And I was like, I wanted an LS swap of cars, so I said, boat anchored that turd. Yeah. I didn't keep it. Now, if it was something rare, like a 400 car, I would definitely put that engine back in there. So. So if you ever find a 400 car, Brian, those are ones to keep. Gotcha. I'll right, just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna get this finish cut out. Pop these. I got maybe one spot well to drill here. Then we gotta get in here and break this little piece up, and then get this in there and you no know, trace out where it needs to go. So okay, I'll clean up this edge. Though. I actually first car put getting the flux core. It it works, but it's a little more work. Yeah, a little more work to clean it up. Yeah, a little more work to clean it up. But I've done. It's been done. I'm, I'm not gonna say, but I can't do the nice little plug welds mm -hmm. with the flux core as well. Right. And the shielding, I can do that plug weld and lay it out flat near the buffet, and it almost looks like a spot. Mm -hmm. Not to do about 11 billion of this is actually pretty good. But 11 billion? Yeah, 11, 11 billion. Um, drill. Where do I put the drill? <laughs> Or something I don't normally do. I don't normally drill them, but I'm trying to avoid the air hammer thing. See, now I can't do what the magic of editing. You know, start on it two minutes later, it's all cut out and done. I can do it that quick. So I don't have that privilege right now. Live TV. First, prior to the YouTube experience, I would dare got in front of the camera. Not even for a picture. I'm so pretty, I bring the camera. I've always said that. <laughs> oh, you turd. My scrap pile went missing. You clean up already? I do. You make a nice, nice garage assistant. I will. I'm going to keep the wife happy. I've got lots of practice. The chances of her watching this video are zero to none. So. Oh. oh. Well, then. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh.
how can I get a bigger death wheel and get in there and cut that? You're not going to saws off, do you? I uh, do. Yep. That's the other option. I can use some saws off for deep cuts. Um, if I ain't get to the getting place, we'll get some bigger death wheels. I won't have to do that. I just going to make sure I have a battery that's going to... Oh, that's fine. It's only got to make a quarter inch cut. So if that, it's a sheet metal. So I, I think, I think, I think we can do this. I normally have two batteries around right here, but where's my extreme now when we're done you'll be able to reach up inside here for the most part we'll put a coat of paint or something on the inside okay. of that well um so that way don't leave a exposed section more than you work with uh oh you got all ready yeah it got like half a half a wiggle on something right. is it here he said no he, he said no Proof, stupid.
think you got the poop? She, I, yeah, she but does I a lot of crap. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. It's coming apart. So what you're saying is that the guys were sober when they did this side. I think so. And by the time they got to the other side, it was they were liquored up. Beer 30. Yeah. It was already like, it was like 9 a.m. at that point. But you don't like it. Right. Right. Back here. Yeah, you can plug it. You yeah. 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 So I'm going to check out clean those, get all the little debris out of here. Now and isn't this also spot welded or tap welded? There's well, about every oh, inch and a half. There's not much here. Okay. It's pretty sad. Uh, if you look inside the rail, there's one little, here. Yeah. There's a little spot there would actually burn through or something. Not here, here. Look like there's a bunch. Is that just a ripple? Uh, I see more here. Look here. Pink, 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 pink. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, but here's the cool part. This part's already rusted and gone. We just have to clean it up with a oh, death, look at that. Well, death wheel. So <laughs> my plan was like I've done here. Just cut just on the inside of the drip rail. Yeah. Then peel it back. That's what I've done. I'm just going to get little pieces out now. Now I'm debating. Do we go ahead and... I don't want to put that side, pull that side off so I get this side back on for the purposes of measuring everything. Right. So, I'm going to take a wire brush. If you want a man, a wire brush and yeah, knock that. that loose. And then we'll put some either some some kind of primer. I mean, even if that POR 15, it'll probably dry pretty quick. I need to get the rest of this metal out here. Okay. Um, I guess we can unplug this to get it out of the way then, I suppose. Not necessarily take it out, but unplug it to get it out of the way. How about I do that? I'll use the biggest screwdriver I can find to hit that release. Okay. Let's pull that out temporarily. This has had courtesy lights in the back. Anything out there? There were courtesy lights there one time? It had that option. Oh, that was an option? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, there's no wiring to it, so I didn't have it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. And that would just come in on top of the headliner. Mm -hmm. A little round, little chrome trim. I think I've, I think I've seen it once, but I don't, I don't know that 100%. But I think my memory says yeah, but you know, we get old and see now. All right. Um, I say we actually just knock that rust off. Okay. Put some on there. Let me do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna sip on a soda, I suppose. Okay. Now I'll get this out. I just made a little joke. I was looking at the camera like that. Yeah, I'll get that out of there. <laughs> I was gonna hide orange Mountain Dew cans off of your nice. car. Yeah, I wasn't gonna tell anybody. I've already going gone. going down the interstate at hundred. Ding 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 ding. Wow. And then this must be the well. That's part of the wiring harness. That that's your tail harness there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll be honest. There's very minimal with no rust on the side of this car. This, this is surface. This is this is no. right. Now I can just take a brush or some yeah. brush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I gotta pop this out somehow. I gotta figure out my technique there. I've seen people take screwdrivers and. And that's what I had seen as well. Yeah, and I, I may just go that route, see if I can't pop them out of there. Yeah, it's actually working. <laughs> hey, that must have been that Friday crew on this one. These are coming right out. Side cuts here. Right. So. Side cuts. Uh, All right. How do you spicy food? Do you eat spicy food? Do you go out the deep end and eat like lava? Uh, yes. Do you really? We, we are hot people. We, uh, we, we eat green chili with almost everything. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, Matter of fact, that freezer probably got a quarter of it filled with uh, green chilies. Okay. Okay. 
spicy meatballs. See, I, have my, I love spicy stuff, but sometimes it doesn't love me so much. Mm -hmm. I like it. As we get older, we find that to be true. <laughs> yeah, but I can't give it up. <laughs> exactly, we can't eat it. <laughs> this is something about the joy. Have you had any of the Apollo pepper yet? What is it? Apollo pepper. It's supposed to be hotter than the uh, Reaper. No, I have not. Oh, I don't think it's been officially worded that way, but it's supposed to be hotter than the Daggum Reaper. Probably work has some hot sauce made from the Hot Ones Challenge. Okay. Brought it in. That's actually pretty good. So. Now, nah, it's still just hot. That's all right, too. She's hot. She's kind of, kind of a cool thing to say. <laughs> The rest actually cleaned up in here pretty good. Uh, I might just kind of grab a little bit more. I don't think I have to worry about it. So. I think we're going to get lucky. You know the cool thing about you put it on the roof up here? It disappears. It just goes away. Never turn that again. It just goes away. It never gets that. I need a roof like this. It's like those self-cleaning end tables, one in guys' houses. Self-cleaning end tables. You ever seen that? No, what is this? And the guy comes home and has a whole skit, you know, and he's like, you know, the police are there, and he's like, you know, check out this end table. I put stuff on it, and I come home, and it's all gone. I think my wife must have sat on it. She's gone now. I can't find her anywhere. I put like laundry on there, it disappeared. And now she's gone stuff that stopped working by disappearing. It's broken. It broke. <laughs> right. Gotta go back to Walmart and get another one of those. Yeah. And one of the officers says, Well, you know, I have the same table at home. <laughs> it was some kind of weird, like, set it high skit or something like that one. I have the same one at home. <laughs> uh, I was like, the guy kind of be all cop. She's like, Oh, you guys are idiots. <laughs> You put it on like heavy metal, the heavier the metal, the stronger they pull. Damn. Yeah. And they're free. They get them for free all day at work. Step there, yeah, and then lays on top of that one. This one goes on top of that. So, if I said, We can start with these, and gotcha. everything else kind of stacks on top of it. So, and this is the good heavy AMD stuff. It's not some of the like I have some other quarter panel brands, and it's not that thick. It just real thin. Okay. This, this matches this a lot better. Gotcha. And this stuff's a little flimsy. This stuff's mm. it's about holding shape, yeah. Now the front of those, I'm right, is if you look at the stickers, A, M, D, O, E, R, all of them, little Made in Taiwan sticker on every single one of them. I have proven that I'm going to draw a stamp in the same place. Oh, just right. use like a different gauge for one company and then or the quality gets goes here or whatever, whoever it inspects. So you still get some crappy stuff from A, M, D, not nearly as often, but I, I wonder if it's, how many people in, in Taiwan are really stamping the stuff? Right. How many people really have dies for rear quarter panels for a Firebird or Camaro? They're not cheap to make. So okay. the die itself. Right. So you don't you know there's not five different dies out there. No, nope. five different companies in Taiwan with five different dies? Hmm. I think not. Probably not. All right, wait. We don't want to knock this down though. Place you don't have to paint. We're planning on putting this panels together. Now you yeah, actually go ahead and probably uh, I guess weld through primer those. 
a little tiny piece of metal in there and needs to be buffed out. Do you have the, uh, the grinder wheels that are like stone all the way instead of a flat wheel? Like a quarter inch. Looks like the you know, material cutoff wheels made out of, but thicker. keep my weight under 40 pounds on my carry-on. Give me a cheap turn. That work. That's the perfect diameter. Go right through that, clean yeah. up that channel. So we'll do that after you get to. I knew I had some. Yeah. Oh heck, under the roof. Under the sand thing. I'll just cut right through on the inside of that lip. Okay. Feel it. That roof off. That roof will be off like a minute and a half, probably. Or two Wait. minutes, depending how my cutoff wheels get a little more Hirschberg. It cuts a little quicker. But zing, 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 zing. Skin off. And time it takes a little more time is cleaning up the edge again. Um, you know, I might just go ahead and put that uh, POR15 on this edge here anyway, because there's still a lot of rust in it. I don't want to keep grinding on it. Right. Um, I don't want to make that thinner. Right. Um, but it's still got good metal. You put that POR15 stuff on there, it'll stop it, and we'll put the top panel on it, and it'll be fine. So. And then I'll cut this back a little more, and then we'll get this thing test fitted and cut, and then see about a welder. That's fun. Do you survive <laughs> Heart's mine, welder is the brother in law. Yeah. Which I don't know how to give a bathroom that works. <laughs> yeah. I'm on tape on it. Well, you're on camera, you're getting incriminating heavy evidence. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so I'm going to end. I'm going to end here. Alright. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah? Is that what happened? What do you did? What? What? Right here. Oh, this is the SAE version. Several 16s only. 